All right, hello everyone, Simon here. Welcome back to Minecraft. I am in the process of building the version 2 of the pauper farm. And I've been doing some thinking over the, the week. Uh, I've got myself a lot of hoppers, but I'm thinking maybe I don't use those. I don't want to use the hoppers because there's lag issues. I mean, it's not too bad right now. It's kind of okay. You can see the frame rate's not amazing. But if we have eight floors, the plan is to have eight floors of pauper. And then for all the floors to be hoppers, but I think that would actually pretty much double the number of hoppers I have within simulation distance. And that might double the lag. Although, I mean, there's a lot of hoppers. <laughs> but like a whole floor of hoppers and then eight of those all the way up. So I might change that and change that to uh, just a normal floor, probably snow blocks. The plan is to have it like this. These are all hoppers. And so then once the the chorus drops, it's automatically collected and put into the sorter. But honestly, it doesn't save me that much time, right? You press the button, it collects, most of it collects by itself, and then you have to go around and replant the chorus flowers anyway. So it saves maybe like half a minute at most per floor. And maybe that's not worth it. I might actually come back and remove these hoppers too. So a slight change of plan, slightly less convenience, but probably a better idea in the long term. If we don't increase the amount of lag in this area, right? Yeah, you can kind of see the frame rate's not amazing. It's playable, but probably don't want to push it. Um, we need lights here. Uh, let me just check. I've been thinking about a few things during the week. Uh, utility? It's not in utility. Where did I put my sea lanterns? Oh, there they are. Uh, we, we can get plenty of sea lanterns, by the way, now that we have the prismarine farm going. What is it, like five of these? One, two, three, four, five, and then like one, two, three, four, is that right? And sea lanterns. So we can get a lot of sea lanterns out of that and out of that. There's more back here, by the way. Not quite that many crystals. So I'm going to use sea lanterns for some ceiling lights. Torches on the ground as usual. And go ahead and put that there for now. Alright, so what's the plan with the sea lanterns? The plan, uh, in fact, let me... Also get a stack of deep slate because we're gonna drop some deep slate. Sea lanterns underneath each of the pistons. Like that. The texture lights as opposed to torches. The texture lights don't work as well. Like they don't provide the light as reliably. But they do a little bit of work, so... Do they? Yeah, I mean, they do the... No? I mean, I'm not really sure how much work they do. Like, thinking ahead, if we start piling these up, right, because we're gonna have multiple floors of these, we want to be able to see the chorus. So that's why we're gonna... Want some light in the ceiling as well as... So there's already lanterns there and there will be torches on the floor. But no harm in having more lights. Alright, so we've got 64 of these. Cursed Dive, hello, welcome. P 
Pier Pierce Dive, my bad. Pierce Dive says majestic. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to build, <laughs> but yes, it's huge. Uh, what are we doing? way to do this. for this to provide some lights underneath, but I don't actually know how much light this will give us. But better than nothing, I guess. and then deep slates Okay, let's go pick up the deep slate and see how this looks underneath. Ah, uh, good. Good. It does provide some light. Not as dark as before down here.
Oh, did I just lose a bunch of deep slate because I waited too long? I guess it's not a huge problem. I'd prefer not to lose materials, though. How do I get up there? Nope. <laughs> How do I get up there? Nope. I'm sure I can make this jump, I'm just not... Never mind. Never mind. I think I've already lost the deep slate already anyway, it's disappeared. Yeah. Well, no big deal. Hava says, hey, what are we up to today? Uh, continuing the... The chorus farm. I've decided not to use hoppers for the floors because I'm kind of concerned about the lag. So I'm gonna manually pick up the 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 uh, the pauper or the chorus fruit when it drops. Um, yeah. Okay. So let me figure out the circuitry and how that's gonna function. Chest. A chest and a hopper probably should use these hoppers or something. How does this how about a water push? I don't know if the thing with water push is then you have like flowing water open at the top and then you can't really walk around as easily. I think I'm just gonna pick them up. <laughs> just pick them up manually. It's not a huge um inconvenience to just pick it up, right? Uh, let me also get the buttons going. I mean, I know I like automation. I do like automation, it's just that, um, maybe not. How is this? No, I mean, you only turn the water on when ready. Yeah, no, even then it's... Because then you have to turn it on, and then after you push them all, which takes a while, and then you turn the water off. I don't think that actually saves time and effort, though. <laughs> I still have to, like, stand there and... Right, you gotta push all the stuff away, or replant, and then turn the water on, push it. And then when you come to harvest, you turn the water off. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, I get it, but I'm not... I don't know. I think... Sometimes I think just not automating is actually the best idea, is what I'm thinking. <laughs> uh, what is this? This is stone? Alright, redstone dust. And repeaters. Because then, like, you also have to accommodate the water. You need water channels. And so then the biggest, the building is bigger as well. Whereas, I'm just going to put, like, hopper there. And then chest there, right? So I'm just going to collect it manually and then put them in the chest and it'll go into the sorters from there. And then over on this side, we can't have it right on top of the hoppers. So like two blocks next to it. Oh, what? So from there... To there... Um... You want a 
button. Let's say there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. That's a lot more than fifteen. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so if we go both ways, or what actually is the most... No matter how you do it, you just end up using the same amount of redstone, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So one, two, so like, you kind of have to go, oh, I just realized I need to um invert the signal. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. It's supposed to be always on. That makes it even more complicated. So this is meant to be... always on. And, and then it turns off when you push the button. Oh, there's... <laughs> sticky pistons! Sticky, sticky pistons. <laughs> sticky pistons, not, not normal pistons. All right, let me, where are my slime balls? Where are my slime balls? Unbelievable. Does water break chorus plants? Don't actually know. <laughs> 